Recent sales actually haven't been that bad, and I know that's not saying very much compared to this crazy reselling year, but I am excited to share 18 sales that I have had recently on Poshmark and eBay that make up $1,093. Of course, as I am going over these sales with you, I am going to share some specific styles and brands, my cost of goods, any liquidation box updates that I have for you, my bad sales, and of course my good sales. So so we have a lot to talk about, so let's just get started with the first one. Oh, and super quick, if you happen to be new to this channel, my name is Lindsay Nicole, and I do own a reselling business here online, primarily selling women's clothing and shoes on Poshmark and eBay. I also have a side Etsy business as well, so if you are interested in following my journey, definitely consider subscribing down below. But we are gonna talk about my first sale that did come from Poshmark. These free people boots ended up selling and you may recognize these from a Fox liquidation unboxing. To be specific, the style of these were called the In The Loop white ankle boots and they were very coastal cowgirl. They actually sold in a size 11, which I know I've told you guys in the past that I am definitely not afraid to pick up size six and a half and size 11 especially. I have a lot of experience with selling size 11 shoes and they always have performed well for me. I'm obviously not entirely sure as to why, but if I did have to take a guess, I truly think it's because there's not as much variety online for this particular size. So I was very happy when the sale came through. These boots did come from my Free People Fox Liquidation shoe palette unboxing that I did do for you guys a couple of months back ago. What I will say about that palette unboxing, just as an update, is I have only sold a few of the shoes thus far from that palette, but all of the sales that I have made so far have actually been really, really good. So I am happy about that. I am not surprised that my boots haven't been selling because obviously it is warmer weather out. It is summer, but what I'm hoping is sales will trickle in throughout the summer and then hopefully sell in the fall. So my cost of goods on these particular boots was $41.10 and I ended up selling them on Poshmark for 90. Therefore, I made $30.90 and if you are curious as to where I get all of my free people inventory, all of it comes from Fox Liquidation. And if you haven't heard of Fox Liquidation, I will pop up my Fox Liquidation playlist where I basically document my whole journey selling various types of palettes and boxes from that website so you guys can take a closer look at that. Up next, we are gonna talk about an eBay sale and this comes from a House of Harlow dress that I actually have had for a very, very long time, so I am very happy it ended up selling. In fact, the reason why I have had this dress for so long is because I thought I listed it, but then when I did some auditing inventory back in December using Vendu, I found out that this dress wasn't listed on any of my platforms. So I did end up relisting it, and finally it ended up selling on eBay after cross-listing. House of Harlow is a high-end brand that is sold on Revolve and most of these dresses could go for over $200 retail, which is kind of crazy. However, I have seen this brand on my TJ Maxx as well for a major discount, which is why I think that these pieces do tend to struggle as far as the resale market goes. So when I did notice that I had this piece in my inventory, I really tried to move it out as soon as possible because I've just noticed the decline with this brand. Now, don't get me wrong, even though I wouldn't pick up this piece retail arbitrage, if I did see it at the thrift store or the bins, I would still pick up House of Harlow because you can still make pretty good bank on it. I also think it really depends on the style as well. This one just wasn't as desirable, so I just took what I could for it. I ended up paying $14.80 for this piece. I actually got it from a, another reseller's closet when I bought out her whole entire store about two years back, and I ended up selling it on eBay for $49.99, including the buyer paying for shipping. Therefore, making $21.32, I'm just happy that I can move on with this piece because I feel like the next time it may have sold was probably Christmas. It was red and 
sparkly and just look very holiday-like. That is why it is always important to cross-list all of your items to different platforms because you never know which platform it's going to sell on. And speaking about cross-listing, this brings me to today's sponsor, which is Vendu. And you guys know I've been using Vendu forever for all of my cross-listing needs because they are the number one software tool for resellers to grow and expand your business. And more excitingly, Vendu actually just came out with a new announcement for all of you high volume sellers. If you yourself are a high volume seller, or maybe you know a friend that is a high volume seller that is struggling to manage their inventory and increase their sales, then Vendu Enterprise is here to help. Their solution enables companies with unique SKUs from 2,000 to 50,000 new items per month to cross-list and manage thousands of items in bulk instantly. In turn, this makes it easier to expand to new marketplaces and boost sales. And maybe you're not a high volume seller, but you happen to know somebody. For each referred client that signs an enterprise contract with Vendu, you will get $300 in commission. So if you happen to know a seller or even a friend in mind that may be interested in Vendu Enterprise, then I will leave a link in my description down below where they can schedule a call with Vendu to learn more information. So again, that link will be in my description. And in the meantime, it's kind of a win-win situation because you're helping your friend with their business while also making some extra cash. And also, if you are interested in growing and expanding your own business, Vendu not only offers cross-listing software, but also relisting capabilities to boost stale listings and an inventory management system that helps you track not only your inventory, but also your profits. So in addition, I will leave a a sign up link down below where you can get 25% off your first month subscription and five free listings to import from your existing platform so you can test the waters with Vendu. Again, all of this information will be in the description box down below. And thank you again to Vendu for not only partnering with me in this video, but also helping my business grow and expand. I wouldn't be able to make these sales without you. Back to Poshmark was this Reformation sale that I was very, very pleased with. You may recognize this dress from the LA thrift haul that I did, I would say less than two months ago. I ended up picking up this dress from a Crossroads, which is a buy sell trade store in Los Angeles. And I did end up getting this dress new with tags. So this is the Reformation Sorrentine knotted cutout dress. And this was in a size eight. I picked up this dress for $46 and it ended up selling on Poshmark for a hundred. I believe this dress was a hundred percent silk and this was a mini style, which generally I don't like picking up as far as reformation goes or at least paying up for. But for this one, I did decide to pick it up because of the material. Like I said, it did sell for a hundred. And so I made $34 on this dress and I sold it within less than two months. So can't complain about that one. All right, let's talk about a flop sale, which was this Ronnie Kobo maxi dress. This was in a leopard or or cheetah animal print. I always get confused with the two. But anyways, I ended up picking this up for way too much money. I overpaid for this one. It was such a bad idea. I paid $52 for this dress. And if this style was actually desirable online, then maybe that would have been worth it. But for this type of style, it just wasn't. I feel like animal print isn't as popular as it once was. So that may have something to do with it as well. I got this from a TJ Maxx retail arbitrage. And no, I don't believe it had the tag on it. So I did have to list it new without tags. This ended up selling for $72. So I made around $3 on this dress. Happy it's out of my life and happy I can recoup my investment on this one. I actually do have other Ronnie Kobo pieces, but those pieces I ended up getting from Boutique by the Box liquidation and my cost of goods is just so much better that then it would be worth it to pick up that brand. Again, if you aren't familiar with any of my Boutique by the Box hauls, I will pop up a playlist for you so you can check out as well. All right, next up is this Anine Bing t-shirt that sold 
I think within hours of me listing it. This actually did come from my own personal closet. If you guys watch my closet clean out video, I just have come to the conclusion that tan colors really wash me out because of my fair skin. So I did decide to just sell this one off to somebody new and maybe I'll pick up a new Anine Bing t-shirt that suits me better. If you aren't familiar with Anine Bing, it is absolutely a bolo. Definitely do your research on it because their graphic tees sell so fast. And man, I just wish I had a closet filled with Anine Bing pieces. This particular t-shirt was 100% cotton and it ended up selling on Poshmark for $50, so I made 40. Next sale comes from Alice and Olivia, which is another high-end brand usually sold at Revolve and also major department stores like Macy's, Dillard's, and Nordstrom. This Etley halter satin formal gown ended up selling. I believe this was new with tags. Yes, this was new with tags and the retail on this was $395. I ended up selling it on Poshmark for $134 and I paid $52 online sourcing for this item. Therefore, I made $55.20 and I have a feeling someone may have worn this to prom or maybe a summer wedding. I'm kind of sad about this next sale and it's only because this is my last multiple of this particular piece I have had in my closet. I think I've sold maybe around 10 of these dresses and this is the last of the litter. This Jenny Kane polka dot dress ended up selling. I got these dresses so, so long ago and even though Finally, this is the last one to sell out of my batch. All of them have sold for really good prices, so I really can't complain about it. I really was waiting for the right buyer for each of these pieces because I knew they were worth the investment. This Jenny Kane polka dot wrap dress ended up selling in an extra small and it was sold new with tag. The retail on this dress was $295 and I ended up selling it on Poshmark for $130. I paid $42 for this dress and so I made $62 and that's it. I'm done with all of my Jenny Kane polka dot dresses. Next sale did come from my personal closet as well. It was this aloe yoga tank top that was in a limestone color. I did cut off the fabric tag to this one, but it still ended up selling, which I was really happy about. It was in really great condition. And in case you are curious of the style, it was the don't get it twisted tank top, which great name for a tank top, only because it did have a twist feature on the back. But anyways, I ended up selling this for $28 on Poshmark. So I made $22.80 on this tank top and it sold fast, which I was really happy about as well. I think it took about three days to sell. Alo Yoga as a brand has always sold really well for me. So if you aren't familiar with it, definitely make sure you look out for it while you are sifting through the racks of the activewear section at your thrift. We have a teeny tiny sale and this next piece was actually mine as well. This plaid button down says bride in the back and I actually wore this to my bachelorette party, which I'm sure I'm showing you a picture of. I ended up getting this top from an Etsy seller and obviously it's kind of one of those one and done pieces unless I wanted to save it as a keepsake, which clearly I didn't want to. So I ended up reselling it on Poshmark and it sold for $12. So I got $6 back out of that purchase and at least it's at my house because I don't know when I would uh, wear that next because I'm already married. <laughs> Up next, we have a really good Ted Baker sale that came from my Ted Baker liquidation unboxing from Boutique by the Box. Again, man, I wish I bought more Ted Baker because that definitely has been my best performing box from Boutique by the Box. I will have to check if they have restocked their Ted Baker because I definitely would consider buying more. My cost of goods on that box was $27 and this white utility jacket ended up selling on Poshmark for 60. This sold in a size eight and the retail on this was $259, which is kind of crazy. Therefore, I made $21, which was almost doubling my money, but I think I only have about three pieces left of this box. So I was totally okay with taking the money and running and moving on to the next investment. Another unbelievably fast sale. I believe these shorts sold within two days of me listing them. These 
These are from a Goldie, so I'm sure you're not even surprised. If you aren't familiar with a Goldie, definitely look it up because it is such a bolo, especially for the summer. Their vintage Parker shorts are probably one of their most popular items or categories for the summer. And like I said, this was just a very, very quick sale for me. These personally were mine, but I believe they retail for over $100. I ended up selling it on Poshmark for 66. I did get an offer from a buyer. These were in a size 27. Definitely in pre-owned condition, but no rips or stains or anything like that. And I ended up making $52.80 on these shorts. Speaking of my closet clean out, another item that sold from that clothing haul was this Zella hoodie that I originally got from a liquidation box. I ended up taking off the tags and wearing it for myself and keeping it for a while, but I just haven't really felt confident in it recently. So I did end up selling it. This hoodie ended up selling on Poshmark for $10 and I made $7.05 on it. Honestly, Zella doesn't really resell for a lot of money anyways. And if you aren't familiar with Zella, they are a Nordstrom house brand for active wear. And it is a pretty affordable brand as is, which is why the resale just isn't there. However, if you can find it for cheap enough, either at the thrift or maybe at the bins, personally, I would still pick it up because there is a cult following to Zella and their pieces are really nice quality. So I don't think it would stay in your closet for very long. This actually ended up selling really, really fast. So just something to keep in mind. Next brand, I'm not even gonna pronounce to you guys because I have already said it once wrong on this channel. So I'm just going to hold my tongue with it, but I will pop it up on the screen for you. This actually came from my boutique by the box swim unboxing that I just did. And let me just say that so far that box has been performing really, really nicely for me. I have already sold three pieces from that box and I listed all of those items about a week and a half ago. So I'm very pleased so far, but this particular sale actually ended up coming from one of you guys that ended up watching that swimsuit haul. So thank you so much to Christine for purchasing this bikini top. It is so cute. And yeah, I just want to say thank you again for your purchase and I hope you love it. So I ended up paying $14.28 for this bikini top. That was my cost of goods for that haul. And this was new with tags. The retail on this was $85 and I ended up selling it for 40. So I made a profit of around $17. My next sale actually came from that same liquidation box. This cover up dress ended up selling and this was by Pedusa. Hopefully I'm saying that one right. But again, I paid $14.28 for this piece and new with tags. Bags. Again, sold it for 40 and I made around $17. Next piece came from Wilford, which if you aren't familiar with this brand is an Aritzia brand. And this piece did come from my own personal closet. I tried it on for you guys during my closet clean out haul and was deciding if I should keep it or sell it. I ended up selling it and it sold so fast as well. I ended up taking an offer of $55 for this tiny tank top that I'm very happy with. I ended up making a profit of $44 and now I don't have to worry that it's in my closet just sitting there not being used because hopefully it's being used by its new buyer. We have another Ted Baker sale that did come from my boutique by the box unboxing for Ted Baker. My cost of goods for all of my Ted Baker items was $27. This dress did come new with tags, but I will say this particular dress was an older style. So I did decide to take a little bit of a lower price than I thought I would originally be able to get for it. I sold it for $54 and I made a profit of around $17 for this dress. I was hoping to at least sell it for 70, but sometimes that's just not the case with all of your expectations. So I was okay with at least just making a profit and it not sitting for very long. I mean, I've probably had this dress for now maybe four months. So that's not it's not terrible. We have another dress and another sale that came from a boutique by the box unboxing. This particular one came from my Ultimate Revolve Mixed Box. And I have never had any experience with this brand before. This is by Atoir. And I've definitely looked up different types of styles when doing initial research on this brand. This particular style that I had wasn't as desirable as some of their other styles. So I really just took anything for this particular piece. 
I'm hoping other pieces that I did receive in that box will perform a little bit better than this one, but hey, at least I made a profit. I did pay $28 for this dress. I did end up selling it for 50 and I made around $13 on it. So definitely not doubling my money on this one, but I am really happy it sold. I will also say that I believe this one was in a size zero. So I just feel like it was a little bit of a harder sale to begin with. And last but not least, like I said, I sold another piece from that swim unboxing. This particular cover up was by Vitamin A. I paid the same $14.28. This particular one sold for $50, which I was really happy about. And I made $25.72 on this dress and it sold extremely fast. So I consider that a really good flip. All in all, what I will say about these sales is uh, summer is definitely in full swing because I'm selling lots of shorts and dresses and swimwear and vacation wear. So definitely as a friendly reminder, relist all of those summer and spring pieces that maybe didn't sell last year to hopefully sell this season. Also, before you leave me, definitely share one of your summer sales down below. I would love to learn new brands or just hear about really awesome sales you guys are making. Thank you again to Vendu for partnering with me in this video. I will leave all of that information that we talked about earlier in the video down below. And if you are interested in binging more what sold videos for me, then I will leave one popped up on the screen for you. So I shall see you in that one. Bye guys.